I hope I'm not being too optimistic, but I feel very good about it. That's where the state of the city is, optimism. That's exactly right. This is a great city. Uh, Mayor, let's talk about the bond, too. Uh, voters overwhelmingly passed the 2018 bond, $399.5 million. It's a new library, two new fire stations, uh, community center, new police station, I believe. What's hap what happens in a lot of cities is these bond projects drag on for years. You insist that's not going to happen. That's right. If we're going to ask all of you to vote, to put your money on the table, however, we voted this bond in with no increase in our tax rate. In fact, we've lowered our tax rate, and I think we're going to talk a little more about that. that. But when I was elected in 2011, we started looking at our capital campaign and our bonds and realized that we still had bonds that weren't delivered from 1994. And just last year, we finished delivering on the 2,000, the last of the 2,000 bonds. We're not different from other cities, but when we did this 2018 bond election, we promised that if you would approve it, and you did at 81%, that we would deliver in four years. And I'm proud to say that all the arterial roads that are on this bond are already contracted and in the design phase. Victory Forest is well underway, a couple of the other community centers. This bond package will be delivered on time and within the dollars that we ask you for. That's a big win, folks. When we were dealing with bond elections that were nearly 20 years old, to move that to four, <coughs> excuse me, we couldn't have done that without Roger Burnable and Steve Cook's help in property management.